Fatty that can go mid, or just pick an initiator or something that close the gap. Alright, I think Quap can is a lane dominator that can also just get on top of the draw, right? So they went more for the gap close. Can't really contest that, so you kind of got to block it. No other options. And Zoom Zigzag does not seem interested in buying a sentry just yet. So we'll see how this lane evolves a bit further. That's Kachal. Oh, you know, they're actually going all in for Aqua. They see an opportunity. He only has level one right now, so they're stronger because of level two. And they'll get the first blood for Zoom Zigzag. Pexu could also be in trouble himself. A uh, Pexu is a little. So the, these small little things, they can make a really big difference, right? Right now, Huskar has 8 CS, and he doesn't really have Helm yet. Maybe if he got those waves on the tower that died when he died, he would have Helm already. And Omni would feel a little bit safer to go for a pull or something. So now he kind of has to babysit him all the time. And the lane's going really well for Radiant. Bottom, unfortunately, Fantasma, the moment they go onto him, he's just going to die. Uh, Pugna, yeah, great base stats in the beginning, but then he quickly falls off. Oh, I messed up the Lokinesis there combo for Zoom Zigzag. Look at trust, huh? Did you see Kachal through the spear even before Telekinesis ended? That's that's trust in your teammates. That's for steel. In the, in the middle lane, he falls to the Shadow Poison plus the Shadow Strike from Queen of Pain. Right, we're lane. It, it probably has to do with that. Uh, it's a really good reason to not leave. Because now they're going on Aqua again. They're going to get yep. this kill. And Pango's even joining them. He's like, there's no point to me staying in my lane. He's actually going to try to get a kill against Pexu. Pexu does have the Heavenly Grace, though. That's a little bit extra healing. Zoom zigzag. Doesn't want to tank the tower here. And instead, they're going to push the wave. Should be a relatively easy kill. Should go try to TP here, but that would be a huge waste for reality if they kill her in the middle of TP. But she's just going to accept her death. Thanks to the power strike. They get her. The bite of drow. And now. Where where should she go, Lillis? Uh Obviously, you got to open up this bottom lane area. I agree with you. You can't. There's no way you can stay in the safe lane. So what's Pass. the mm -hmm. are, are there carries that bring this value? Like if you play like a Razor or a Conquer, that are a bit stronger in the early. Can you do that more? That's by the way, Aqua. Sorry, they go in the top lane, and Pastel does still have the Rolling Thunder. No need for it though. Uh, Skachal gets you another lane kill. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and you know, a tip for yeah. tip. Truly Dota players, no matter where you're from. Play as one of those heroes and just sit there, which is mm. really annoying for Dire. It's pretty good that Pexu broke the smoke. The yep. positioning, they, they are aware, right? They're coming. Zoom's exact does trigger the Sandstorm though. Nyx to the Ancient Stacks, he wants to steal it. S4 comes in with the epicenter. In the arena he goes, the Sonic Wave as well. Dune Squad looking like they're gonna win this fight. Zoom's exact does not want to leave the safety of invisibility, but he'd steal Burrow Strike right now. He gets dusted, and he's not gonna be able to get any kills off this. Everyone's so low though on Goon Squad, they get two supports off it and defend their Ancients, which probably make this work. As opposed to the mid tower move, which they're now going towards, it seems like. At least Pugna is getting it from behind. However, Pastil seems to be the sacrificial lamb of this engagement. The tower's still alive, we need one more Nether Blast. Here comes Phantasma. You'll deal with the tower at least in exchange for their own Pango. And can Goon Squad now take the tier 1 mid as well? Seems like they're gonna go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Pastil, once again, yep. They did miss the stun, but they got the silence in. There's a life break as well, and he's gonna be burnt up and killed. His team nearby, but unable to jump in time. Kachal doesn't have the arena right now. They're still thinking about it though. They go for a spear, but he misses the spear. I don't know what that was for. Epicenter actually been stalled by Zoom Zigzag, trying to kill off the Queen of Pain. Also missing that gust. S4 uh, stops Zoom Zigzag, and the two supports will fall here. At least Reality covers them a little bit with a multi shot, and she doesn't die, but it's not gonna be. A good fight oh. here for him. He thinks otherwise. He thinks maybe we can take a fight. He has Blink. He has the arena. That'll clear the trees. Now, Hanskin has been caught. There's the spear. But well, they need vision of him. God's Rebuke, of course, will miss. Rolling Thunder is being used. They want to get rid of Hanskin, and they do. That's one of the saves down. Aqua is the next target. Pastel act his double damage while he's rolling. That's not going to do anything just yet. Or at all. <laughs> this whole fight. He's just blue. So it's more of a cosmetic effect than anything. In a way where every lane is pushed. And wherever Dyer wants to go with the smoke, they're probably going to find a kill, right? Right. That's why they go. They have a smoke without like where they're very spread out. They they're not really taking this this very clear route here. They just know they can go to the triangle. There we go. They have so much confidence. They catch in. the Pugna. Purification used already. Phantasma is gonna burst it down. And this time the Rubik's been silenced. Only time they're coming in from Pastel. But what is that going to do? S4 just flies, and he's safe from the multi-shot. Kachal tries to kill off Limp, but the BKB makes it impossible. Kachal is forced to TP, but the Boros Strike cancels it. As reality has also been caught, the life break will slow him. He is done for. Pastel. Chal, where are you gonna go? 
And he stalls the TP, but they have a sanking here. S4 has the Burrow Strike and Yulsa just in case. And they're able to kill off the Mars as well. What do you think of the, the Pugas movement, Phantasma, this game? He's kind of seeing reality, too. Just trying to farm as much as possible as Phantasma. He's, he's trying to fight the backdoor protection. He's not succeeding. He's a TP, as in the mid lane. Kachal dies relatively quickly to an epicenter plus Burrow Strike combo from S4. So Rax will slowly be chipped at. Limbo also has a double damage, so they should be able to take at least. If he has a BKB, he just dies, right? Or oh, pretty good stuff from Blue Spot. They can catch a Pugna now on the, on the ward. Now they can just go mid. And the game is looking pretty good for Dire. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Aqua was being hurt now by this uh, marksmanship, but oh! And quickly comes the Sand King. Reality pushed back. And that's going to be a dead Drow Ranger. 60 seconds louder. Probably gonna mean GG. Rolling Thunder does not save the Pango either, as Lim could just catch him afterwards. Good arena into Spear. One last good play from Kachal before they probably call it. Yeah, Huskar is just way too strong. The second Roche timing with the Aegis. He gets a Shard too that just heals him. They call it. Pretty good, pretty good showing for Goon Squad. Uh, a little bit shaky in, in the beginning, right? The Huskar had a really bad lane. Maybe that, that lane was, wasn't supposed to go that way. Right. So then the <laughs> Bushrax is going to end. They just have to pay attention to that. Ooh, Meeple. Oh. Like Alright. Okay, they're bringing in the big guns. It's going to be Pastel Meeple for sure. That's uh, not not going to be Ember for Pastel. Oh. First for Aqua. Not quite in range. Good job, run. Chaos Bolt will hit. They charge the Illuminate, the arrow on top of that. Only one second for Chaos Bolt, all they needed. Kachal seems to be the first blood here. God's Rebuke will not do enough. Pastel just trying to keep his, his safety. I, I like your point, by the way. Dota, really. Uh, and Peksu, he's out of Tango Zone now, so maybe now Zoom Zigzag can finally hit a uh, Bushwhack. Really slow projectile, guys. It's actually really hard to hit if the enemy knows it's coming, because it takes forever to get there. I'll tell you, Hoodwink actually not that good against Spirit Hero and stuff like that. I'll play in reality is actually going to be the second kill. I thought it was just going to be Phantasma, but Hanskin. Yeah. So it, it became a lot worse in that sense. <laughs> For sure, you can, you can you can look at it in that way. Uh, the hero just hasn't been picked in a long, long time, right? Yep. Uh, that's probably one of the reasons why. Uh, like every mid just has. Because he did it in interviews a lot. That's why I'm asking. As a... Yeah, he dislikes it a lot. <laughs> he thinks it's super bad. It, may, it should be removed. Reality is going to die like... here. There you go. Just a quick kill, sorry, that's four. Phantasma, I don't know what he was hoping there. Body block by Hanskin. We have a Dragon Tail in three seconds. Phantasma also being ticked down by the urn. And they're gonna die this. Goodbye. Another easy kill here. It'll go in the way of Goon Squad. Uh, at least Pastel maybe can get back online. And he is, and with that, they can try to ride the Meeple wave to victory. We'll see. He is, didn't do that badly in the mid lane, all things considered. Even though he is still a thousand gold below the Doom. S4 dies in the top lane, but Dasma gets the kill, but the tower falls in the middle lane. Actually denied by the Hoodwig, not too bad. Yeah, pretty cute play by the Grim. He inks well the creep. The creep just chased the DK down. Phantasma is being chased down now by Hanskin, so he's gonna suffer a similar fate here. And oh, Phantasma, as his name indicates, playing like a true ghost here. Unfortunately, has multiple heroes of farm. Like, as soon as Mars is not gonna be able to lane, he's gonna have to run around with Arena. Like, he, he already is scared to lane. His team doesn't come down here, the CK is just gonna solo kill him when he has the ult. Uh, so yeah, you're just gonna have to run around and just hope for the best, you know, hopefully the enemy just chain feeds. Nope. There and is a CK there's, there's one feed, let's already see if that dead. works out. Inkswell, yeah, that's a dead CK. And they even gave it to Pastel as well, so... Pretty big win for them. And Zoom has made himself a little home here in the trees. <laughs> he, is, he is alive and well. This squirrel is not gonna get caught just yet. Oh no, Zoom, going the wrong way. Again, still has the sharpshooter to move a little bit further. He uses it, but the blinding light sends him off the map. Pex actually knew this, and they stood there so long. Zoom, Zoom, Zack did die, but as a result, they'll get the arena out. The child does die to the Doom, but Pastel is hoping to kill the enemy mid laner. Will he succeed? Limp is pretty low, but so is Pastel. All the poofs coming out for the pig. Can they get the hand? They don't! Limp will barely live reality coming in to complete this kill, but they're protecting Limp, the king. Goon Squad will not let them touch their mid laner. Phantasma walking into the arrow will be the last kill here. It's gonna be a team wipe for Goon Squad. Doom has a TP with a haste. He's already TPing mid. They see the Meepo. Mm -hmm. Gonna find the Meepo. Ah, uh, it's gonna be a relatively easy kill against Pastel, actually. He's just been dropped. Blinding light just towards the end, just in case. However, they will get S4, a tankiest hero, and Goon Squad will die. Reality barely being able to make it out of here alive. Phantasma, unfortunately. Not able to say the same thing. 
and Wake is reality. And still in potentially in trouble. There's an angry pig coming for him. He has a yeah. He's just very strong at this point in the game. They're like so far ahead. It's mm -hmm. gonna do so much damage. Oh, gonna have fireball have... go. Yeah. They just have That's... way too many stuns. The guy's just gonna be stunned in the fireball forever. And Zoom Zigzag dies to the Illuminate thanks to that blinding, oh, sorry, to Solar Bind. The rest of Winter Bears don't want to get a kill here. They see Hanskin. It's an opportunity, but oh no! The Doom's been used! Reality, what are you gonna do now? They're actually gonna let Hanskin die. Yeah, Pest Pestle actually gets him. In exchange, of course, for two though, so it's still a win going the way of Goon Squad. Once again, it's the Angry Piggy, but Limp is gonna be balanced. Pestle, it seems like. Can they get this Meepo out? They'll try, but that poof is unsuccessful. Zoom Zigzag stayed a bit too long, and they want to punish him too. Doom maybe punished himself by using that pig form too early. But it's okay. He has a big BKB. He's gonna be fine. Zoom Zigzag gets hit by the Breathe Fire. They won't cook him just yet. Illuminate won't hit anyone, but Connell does get him with the blinding light of all spells. As they also stun for reality. The arrow hits. Reality won't be able to make out of this one alive. Phantasma trying to lead with that ink swell. Despite his confidence, he has been caught. The Solar Vine is slowing him to a halt. Phantasma will die. The bite. There was a, a stat a long time ago that said that if our team reached 1k a minute lead before minute 20, the game was over no matter what. Like, there's not been a single game that's been come back from that. Or maybe at least only one, at least in uh, top tier Dota. And they're dangerously close to reaching that number. Good night. Yeah, I did feel like he was missing a spell. Oh, Doom on Meepo? He's probably dead again. Oh. I just think that, you know, both Dragon Tail and Dragon Blood don't seem like things like dragons do. I don't think a dragon tail stuns you. I think it just destroys your bones and breaks your back, you know, but not, I don't know the sun. The fireball, though, pretty decent. Yeah, right, the fireball is very dragon like, right? I, I didn't know Dragon's Blood gave you regen either. That was new to me as well. Pachal. He's been caught because he's been used to the bushwhacks useless. They, they are trying, though, to the bitter end, says Winter Bears. A golden pig this time as Doom diversifies his animals. Zoom zigzag. He wants to capture him, he's gonna get it. I mean, the wolf's helping out ever so slightly. <laughs> he comes S4 as well. But he's, he's melee form, so Dragon Tail... Oh. Okay. Well, if you slide a fist, he will be able to catch up. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom yep. tower is under BK's attack. gonna have BKB soon. They're probably gonna look... You're already that, going high go. ground. Yeah. Dyer's top tower that, that, that's yeah, gonna be expected. Just, yeah, there's no way they can come back in this game. Yeah, um, yeah I think the, the lanes just didn't go their way. If you pick this Meepo hero, he's going to have to jungle for a while. And if you lose your side lanes like this, the game is just impossible, you know. You, there's just no nothing they can really do. There's nothing you can just look at. Oh, we should have done this better or this. The, the lanes just have to be better for this to be... Right. Trinkets.